Welcome back. Well, check this out. This is a look at Ski Apache Resorts in New Mexico where they're getting some snow this afternoon. They've been getting snow since this morning and you should have seen the live cameras this morning. It looked like a blizzard with that snow and those winds still getting plenty of snow, but those winds have calmed down a little bit. As for us, no snow here in El Paso, but we are still looking at a weather authority alert because of those very strong gusts. So check this out. We are still looking at some snow right down in Ridoso as well as El Magorso, Tula Rosa. We got to see some this morning in Silver City and Tier C, but it's now moving towards the east. Las Cruces is getting some towards the east of Las Cruces, right over White Sands, and we are getting a little bit of rain in Anthony, but that's about it. It doesn't seem like El Paso is going to be getting any snow, unfortunately. We're just dealing with those very strong winds. So high wind warning in effect up until 5 p.m. And as for things right now, well, they're going to get even stronger, but let's take a look at our snowfall total. So this is from the last 24 hours. We only got a trace in Deming and Las Cruces, but check this out. Four inches in Cloudcroft, 2.8 in Rideau. So, so they got to see the most of it. Unfortunately, no trace in El Paso, but let's look at our gusts. So we are looking at 43 degrees right now. Westly winds at 32 miles per hour, 47 mile per hour gusts. We do expect them to peak at 60 for today. In Las Cruces, we're looking at 41 degrees. Winds at 33 miles per hour, 41 mile per hour gusts. And across the region, we're looking at 46 in Deming, 41 in Silver City, 25 in Cloudcroft, 30 at, a, at the pass, all coming from the west and moving east. We incorporate the winds into our temperatures. It does feel like a hard freeze right now in Silver City and Las Cruces, 32 in El Paso, negative 4 in Cloudcroft. So make sure you're bundling up. Those gusts are going to make it feel very cold outside. And for the next nine hours, we're going to be struggling reaching the 50s. We'll be in those upper 40s for the most part, dipping down to the 30s by 8 p.m. So cold front has moved in. That's what pushed in that moisture causing that snow. As for us, it's just going to be those high winds, but we do expect to be even colder for tomorrow, but that uh, cold front will continue moving east, affecting our friends in the east coast. But we thankfully we are going to be warming up over the weekend, but we are going to be dealing with some hard freezes tonight and tomorrow night. So tonight expect 26 degrees, 25 on Thursday night. Make sure you're bringing in those pets and those plants. Thankfully on Friday will be above freezing and 40s by Saturday. So a nice little warm up over the weekend. But as far as our almanac, we should be at 64 degrees this time of the year. We're expecting a high of 51. So we are 13 degrees below where we should be and tomorrow we're going to get even colder. So 48 is our high on Thursday. We'll be back to the 50s on Friday, 65 degrees on Saturday. That's going to be a nice 10 degree warm up from Friday to Saturday. Very close to 7 degrees on Sunday, but that's going to come with some rain chances as well as Monday and more windy conditions next Tuesday. Steph. All right, Roxy, thank you. Your time is 2.